feel like we're moving into the right direction when it comes to diversity, but it's going to take quite a bit until diversity on campus is visible. Coming from a Latino family, it's really hard for them to separate from their families or making, even though it's not technically separating, just letting one of their childs go off to college far away instead of like keeping them close to home um, was really hard for them, but they accepted the fact that I'm going to go study. It's not like I'm wasting my time somewhere else. I'm going somewhere else to better myself. And I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, at an early childhood, my parents made sure I devoted all my time to uh, school like sometimes I wasn't allowed to go outside because I had to study and looking back onto it I'm really grateful for that because they made me prioritize what was important and then obviously like, you could work and then play but you couldn't play before you could work I feel like the number one thing for me when I was growing up was learning how to speak English I was on the ESL program through fifth grade so I was part of that program for really for the majority of my like, school year so I really had a hard time learning English or speaking it for that matter, but I feel like now that's one of the issues like I've overcome. Um, I guess another one is individuals who like put you down when you have certain dreams or goals. Like um, I know when I was in eighth grade, um, I wanted to get to the high school I was in, um, but my counselor was like, you're not smart enough to get in there. You should look into other schools. And, and basically, I, I what age was that, 13, 14 years of age, hearing that from a teacher, it either makes you or breaks you, you know? And I was, I couldn't understand why this person who like supports, who support, who's supposed to be like guiding you towards what you want is putting you down, being like, you're not smart enough to get in there, you should look into other things. But I knew I was able to, and I got into the school I wanted to, so that's one of the, I always had that chip on my shoulder, and I think I, I'm always going to be carrying that around, being like, people are going to tell you you're not strong enough, you're not fast enough, you're not smart enough, but it's up to you to decide what you want to do with that. Either let it get to you or you try to overcome it. Sure, there are failures in life, but it's up to you how you want to tackle the obstacle. I'd rather fail at something and know that I tried doing it than fail and know that I didn't do anything to about it. I guess like the only thing I have been asked about my culture is like for a presentation of on like Hispanic food. Um, it's like, oh, what do Mexicans like to eat or what are your customs? It's like, that's what I hate about not having diversity here. It's like you put so much emphasis on like one individual to tell you about their culture when in all reality, I can only give my perspective when I can't speak to the whole Mexican race as a whole. I can only speak to what I've been through and I guess more so that I was born in America, so I've been having American ideas throughout my whole life. And obviously I do go back to Mexico, but that's only for a short time. So I'm not knowledgeable about Mexican culture as a whole because I'm, it'd be a different story if I was an international student from Mexico where I've been raised in Mexico. I've been through everything in Mexico, but in all reality, I was born in America. I have family that's in Mexico. When I go back, I actually know some aspect, but I don't know the entirety. So just an individual here who wants to gain knowledge about Mexican culture, I feel like I can only give you my perspective. I can't speak to the whole. I feel like once that happens, a lot of people, if given the chance to study about their own culture, are going to take that full on. Um, and I feel that the school system should change how they approach race in the classrooms. And I feel so more, more so like about history, because I feel like history gets so sugar-coated nowadays that people are so afraid to talk about race because race has a negative connotation. Race implies racism, but that's not what it is. Race is just talking about people from different backgrounds, people who have different upbringings, or like are born into their skin tone, per se. They tell me that I'm not able to do something. Just wait, I'll prove you wrong. I'll find a way to, I'll, I'll bite, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to, I'll do whatever I can to try to succeed because I'm not the individual who just gives up easily.